One of the most frustrating things about creating an online course is it doesn't always feel like you have control over the user experience. Either you're using something like Kajabi or Teachable and you're basically beholden to the user experience they've prescribed for you and your users, or you're using your own self-hosted online course platform and you probably need to hire a developer to completely customize it well today i'm going to show you sensei and the new course theme and how you can get a lot of customization done by just using the tools that they've made available to you and i'm going to show you that by demonstrating how it worked and trying to recreate one of my favorite sites for online learning, which is Masterclass. So you can see here is a single lesson page in Masterclass. This is what we're going to try to recreate here. And what I like about it is it's got a nice big video area. It's got this, the title and description here. It's got some buttons along the side for you to uh, take some action. And then it's got all of the lessons listed here. Now, right off the bat, there are a couple of features that we won't be able to recreate using just Sensei and the course theme. One is the My Notes section. So this is going to associate a note to your account for the course. We're not going to be working with that. And we're not going to work with the top rated lesson section. You need a lot of data for that. So there are ways that you could fake it in the template by maybe tagging your favorite lessons in a course and then showing them here, but we're just going to avoid that part altogether. So we're going to try to get the layout as close as possible and the general kind of color scheme as close as possible without having to use any code. So let's get to it. So here is the course that I have set up. It's called Atomic Courses. I should say uh, right off the bat, a couple of disclaimers. These courses are not actually for sale. If you stumble upon this site and try to purchase or take them, they are there's no content and they're not being supported. And I want to thank Sensei for sponsoring this video and for providing Sensei Pro free of charge for me to create this video. Now, let's uh, take a closer look at what we're going to be doing here. I have a course called Automation 101 here. Uh, there are uh, some lessons named. There is one lesson built out. So you can see this is the default learner experience for Sensei and the course theme. So first, a couple of setup notes. When you install WooCommerce and Sensei Pro, you'll be taken through an onboarding process and, and you'll be asked if you want to install the course theme. If you've already configured Sensei, don't worry, the course theme is freely available in the WordPress theme directory. So I guess that's really the only housekeeping bit. So let's see what we can do here with Sensei. The first thing we want to try to recreate is the layout for Masterclass, where it's got that one big video and then the lessons listed on the side. We're going to go to Sensei Settings. And there's a new section in the latest version of Sensei. You can see I'm running 4.11.1 called appearance. And right here in the appearance section, there are four different learning mode templates. Now, learning mode, that was something that was previously introduced, which basically gives you a focus mode. It's been called in other places, but it, it gets rid of all of the other site navigation and anything else. And it allows the user, the learner to focus on learning. So we have the default template and then there's modern, there's video, and there's large video. You can get a static preview of what each of these look like, but I am a big fan of the modern. Modern or uh, video both work pretty well here. So I'll hit activate, and then we'll go back out to our site and refresh, and now we have a template that looks pretty close to Masterclass. All right, if we have this for reference, we've got the big video. Now the bar is across the top. It's a little cleaner and there is the smaller title. So now let's see what we can do as far as customizing this even further. I'm going to go into edit site and now I'm going to switch to full screen so you can get the full 
experience and see everything that's going on here. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this Atomic Courses logo. It's just like not going to fit in very well here. And then under the video, I am going to create a set of columns, 50% columns. And I'm going to move the post title to the left column. I'm also going to adjust the size. I'll set it to large. So that's pretty small, but that's fine uh, if we're taking the course in order. And on the right side, I'm going to create a couple of buttons. So uh, this is using the buttons block and we can say uh, share. We'll add a new one that says uh, materials and then materials. That looks strange. And uh, maybe then we can add a third one that says feedback. Right? And we can make some adjustments here. So we'll have them justified to the right. Uh, maybe we want to uh, give a little bit more room here or set the buttons to a certain width. Maybe we can set the column a little bit wider. So maybe we want to make this um, like 65% and then leave the other 35% for the post title. Or maybe we just want to decrease the overall size of the buttons. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, as far as, you know, what you think is best, maybe we can set those to uh, like maybe a smaller size, reduce the padding or the margin around the buttons. But again, I'll leave that up to you as far as design goes. But I'm here to demonstrate that this is possible. And now we have something a lot closer to our master class layout. I'm going to delete the columns above. And then the last thing I'm going to do here, because if we look... This is a pretty dark theme. So if we, want to, if we want to get as close as possible to the dark theme, I'm going to click the styles icon up in the top right. And this is going to show me some predetermined color schemes that come with the course theme. So if I click on browse styles, you can see that we've got four options here. One is called dark. And if I click dark, you can see the whole thing changes. It's really fonts and uh, the, the text color and the button colors are darker. Now I will say here uh, that you may run into, depending on how much you're trying to customize, you may run into some trouble with some hard set uh, CSS classes. So we'll see what we can do without adding any code. So just a quick disclaimer there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to styles and we have the opportunity to set our own colors. Don't worry if you click the three dot menu here, we can always reset the defaults of the styles, but now we have a color palette to work with. So I'm going to set the background to the dark color. You can see that like, for example, the sidebar didn't change. I'm going to set the text color to the white or off white. The links I will set to the tertiary for default and then the border color is what it's called for hover. The headings I will set to the white or the off white. And then the buttons I will set to the text color. I'll keep the way it is, but the background color I'm going to set to the secondary color. And you can see that those changed immediately. Now up here in the heading, uh, it looks like we have a set dark color. So I'm going to open this up and we do have the background set here. So I'm just going to get rid of that so we could see what it looks like just making those changes. I'm going to click save on that and then we'll go back out to our front end and back to automation and then what is automation? And you can see like this is pretty close, right? The buttons are taking up a little bit too much room um, and we can make that adjustment, but this looks pretty close. The only problem areas or the only areas that we're not getting an exact match on, I should say, are the header and the sidebar. Now, folks, I'll tell you, uh, I've messed around with this a little bit already before recording this video. And while I was able to get pretty close, especially using the list view to kind of go through and see where colors are and are not set. 
So for example, like on the fixed header, the colors are set, but on the row, they're not. And so we need to make sure that we do that in each place. Uh, so this whole row is set now. The same thing goes for the sidebar menu, right? If we look at the column, we can set the background text and link for the column. And then for the sidebar menu, these colors are already set again. If we go into the course navigation, they're not. So we'd have to reset them inside the course navigation. But even if we do all of that and save, if we go back out to our site and refresh, we're still not getting uniformity. And that's because there are a couple of places in the course theme that are explicitly setting the colors and they can't be overridden without our own CSS code. So this is as far as we can get without any code. I'll go through and I'll undo uh, some of the things that I did here. Now, if you are interested in the CSS to make this work, let me know, leave a comment in this video and I will cover that in a different video. But I wanted to specifically show you how far we could get without any code. And you know what? We got pretty far. We got further than I've been able to get um, with, with any other uh, tool, right? And so something to keep in mind as you're setting your color scheme, maybe there's a different plugin that will universally apply dark mode. But if you want the dark looking color scheme or you want to get as close to masterclass as possible, it will require a little bit of CSS. But I think that as far as the layout goes, this looks really great. So the way that I would proceed here is by resetting to the defaults and then picking the dark mode again. Uh, and then just making sure I haven't explicitly set the color anywhere here so that everything looks good on the front end. And then if we go back out to the front end and refresh, everything looks uniform. It looks really nice, I think. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think the course theme is a beautiful theme. I have a previous video. I'll put it in the cards for my favorite features of Sensei. But overall, I think that Sensei is a great LMS. I think there's a couple of tweaks that we can make here uh, to hopefully get a little bit more uniformity if we do want to set our own color scheme. But I do understand the balance between... Um, making things available to the user and then making decisions as the developer. This was obviously a decision the developers made, uh, but we'll see what happens in the future. For now, if you want to get a great looking layout that looks really close to Masterclass, you can do so using either the modern learning mode or the video learning mode. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks again to Sensei for sponsoring. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Until next time, get out there and build something.